Hi friends, it's good to see you again. I thought that we would read a story today for story time. It's one that you probably all know called Where the Wild Things Are. So here we go. Where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. And so he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and the day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Tell Max said, be still, and tame them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things, and now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. We're going crazy, having a party. And more parties. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being kind, or king, excuse me, of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed the story, you guys. I miss you, and we will talk to you next time. Bye.